Hello here, welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. And today guys, I'm going to show you how to use a basic OTG USB flash drive as seen here. It's just a basic flash drive that has a connection that supports phones. And of course, if you have a dongle, you could connect your dongle, then connect the USB normal flash drive. So guys, I'm going to show you how to operate everything on the phone so you can transfer your pictures over without needing to use a PC. So the first thing you want to do guys is of course you can just go ahead and connect your OTG cable. This is a Galaxy S8. It doesn't matter what phone it is. This one is quite flexible. It's from Tech Nugis. And basically I'm just going to go ahead and just connect up the um, USB flash drive. And make sure it's snug and all the way in there. Once it's connected snug you will notice that it appears up here. It says Android system USB charger or device connected. If it's not detected the way you want, just go ahead and tap. Make sure that you have it for um, transferring files. So I'm just going to go ahead and select transfer files. And of course, guys, right away, you can go to your gallery and check out the file. I'm going to do this one, which is just a picture of the device. And I'm going to transfer it over to the drive. Now, um, if you have gone into gallery, you cannot do what you need to from in gallery. Because, of course, you won't be able to see any options the share option or the copy options is not in here and if you go back to the main gallery you'll only be able to share it with certain devices so to send it over to the flash drive just exit the gallery i was in the gallery just now so simply go ahead and file find your file manager and i'm going to use the samsung default which is my files so just go ahead and go into my files once you're in my files guys you need to be able to see your usb drive from right here and once you're seeing your usb drive from here Notice you have internal storage, SD card, share SD card, internal storage, built-in memory in your phone. And this is the device itself. So right away here, guys, you'll see that we have USB storage. I can open it up. This is what's on the USB drive, which is this drive right here. So I'm going to go back again, guys. Just bear with me a bit. We're going to find your gallery. So it's uh, let's say it's either can be on your SD card or on your internal storage. I have taken all the pictures and had them stored by default to my internal storage so i'm going to go to um, internal storage once i'm in internal storage you're going to search for a folder called dcim if you are going into sd card it will be same directory so let's go ahead and tap on dcim once you're in dcim guys go ahead now and search for camera and i'm just going to go into camera from here once i'm in here i'm just going to go through and what i'm going to do guys i'm going to go all the way through once i go all the way through what I'm going to do, I'm going to look for the particular picture. And there you go. I think it should be this one. And once you're on this picture, just go ahead and tap the context menu up here. Three dots. And you'll notice you'll see a variety of options here. That's kind of similar to when you're in gallery. So I'm just going to go up um, one piece. I just... And the reason for clicking on the image before was to make sure it was the right image. So now that I know that that is the image, I'm going to long press. Once I long press, I'm going to from outside of the picture this time. Just go ahead and click on um, the dot and then I'm going to do copy. And you'll notice it's asking you where do you want to copy it to. And of course from here you're just going to simply go to and say I want to copy it to USB storage. And once in USB storage you can create a new folder if you want. But of course I want to put it in the pictures and this is on the USB storage one as you see there. So I'm just going to select um, pictures and of course there you go. It's asking you, do you want to place it in here? I already have one picture in there. And remember, you can also um, co copy multiple files, but I'm just showing you the one. So before, if you wanted to copy multiple files, you should have just gone ahead and selected them. But of course, for now, I'm just going to say one. So I'm just going to hit done. And there you go. It's transferring. And once it's transferring, you can see that it's actually transferred over to the USB drive. And you can keep doing this for multiple files or until you get what you want. And as you can see there, it's now transferred. Now, once you finish that, what you could do, you could just go ahead and yank this, but it's not safe. So the correct way to eject the flash um, drive or the USB OTG um, cable is to go to settings. Next, you're going to go to um, device maintenance. You're going to go to storage. Once you're in storage, guys, you're going to see here a bunch of options, but the option you're looking for should be up here. So you're going to tap. You're next going to go to um, storage settings. And then you see here it says SD card and you're going to see USB drive. And of course, you want to eject the USB drive. 
So we have tapped the eject symbol, which was the arrow pointing up, and it says unmounted for the USB drive. And that is telling you now that it's actually safe to remove. And what we're going to do now is we're going to just going to simply um, hold this and remove it. All right, so we have removed it. Next, we're going to connect this to your PC. So I'm just going to connect this to the PC over here. Next, I'm going to show you on the PC. All right, on the PC, guys, I've just connected the device and it has popped up. It says USB drive. And notice we had to send it into the picture directory. So we're just going to open up the picture directory. And I think it should be the second one. And once we do that, there you go, guys. We have actually transferred over the file. It only took like a minute or so to transfer over everything. So everything is working fine. And now we're on the PC. And as you can see, guys, my phone is still right here. There's nothing connected to it. And of course, that was simply it was to connect your device using your OTG USB cable, as just shown here in this simple tutorial. All right, guys, if you like this video, please take the time right now to share, comment, and like. All right, so I'm from Black Texas. Bye until next time, guys. Bye.